I'm on my way. Eat up with Sam B. Is Sam B over here? Ah, oh, shit. But I need to sell stuff. My inventory is crazy full. Hello, everybody. Walking through. I mean, I am, like, a little bit higher level. What the fuck? Hey. Damn, them zombies just showing up. But uh, what I was going to say is I am a little bit higher level, so maybe the shit that was too high level before has changed up. That's a fucking no! <laughs> probably, uh, probably for the best I don't get hit with a slime attack from a, a skull <laughs> slobber. God, how fucking high level were these things? Or did they also go up in level because I leveled up? Because the general zombies seem to have gone up to level 10. And they were level 9 the last time I saw them. Hello? You guys party again? Okay. Oh, hey. Nope. Hey, you were looking for Michael, right? Well, guess what? We found him. He just left. Uh, I don't think too long ago. He said he was going back to Emma John's. Great. I should have just waited here the whole time. <laughs> well, I mean, it's. I don't think he would have defeated the the slobberer or whatever it's called on his own. So, we needed to help him anyways. Collectibles, Zompedia... Yeah, slobbers. Slobbers. Alright, fucking give me the three fuses, thank you. Also buy alloys. Anything blue? Probably good for me. That's what I'm talking about. Half the shit gone. <sighs> I went to one area and got like 50 plus of these basic common items. So yeah, this has got to go. I'm using my keyboard and my mouse to <laughs> speed up that process. Christ. Get these back down to more manageable numbers. Oversized bone, what the fuck? A disturbingly large arm bone in case of a newly formed bone growth mutations. Infected spine, a zombie spinal column filled with infected fluid. Ew. There's a lot going on there. All right, let's just sell these. One big problem I am having is just like in terms of uh, overall Moolah, our money situation isn't too great. And I think it's just because, like, obviously, I've been scrapping most gear. Whereas now, look at this shit. We're <laughs> right now we're making the bucks. Uh, let's see. We've got a. Level 9 pike. We've got a level 11 non upgraded pike. Uh, what I could probably. I'll, I'll probably.
scrap this. Cleaver! It's got some decent damage. We're selling it. Okay. If I want, we're almost level 12. I could get a sledgehammer. That does apparently a crazy amount of damage. I'm getting that. I'll make up for, for some things. Uh, what's this? Low in health? Nah. Selling the knife. Have you ever uh, lost someone close to you? Like, not just any old friend, but, but someone who, without them, Life just wouldn't be the same. Someone you're not sure you could get over. Hey, you and your mom are gonna be fine. Just don't let Ricky do anything stupid. Yeah. We're like a modern family here. <laughs> mom, daughter, stepdad, and cool Uncle Roger living on the sofa. <laughs> you hear that? Uncle Roger's got your back, right? He just might not teach you how to cook rice. It's not exactly in my field. Well, you need to put down that book and learn. We got chairs on the roof. Wouldn't make a day of it. I don't think it's for me. Well, I just figured you wouldn't be wanting to be in the house next time your mom and Ricky start being lovey-dovey again. That is a valid point. And shooting lessons would be very loud, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, Uncle Roger's got your back. All right, let's head over to uh, Sam B. Also the the workbench. Okay, got quite a good bit of money from our selling spree there. I'll have to like remember to keep keep that up a little bit. Um. What could I put on the pike here? The rough part is we haven't been getting too many... Amazing... Perks? But I guess we can go for this. Critical hits and heavy attacks do more damage, and then... Increase the damage of critical hits. I just wish I had a mod that was more about, like, the damage as well. Like, this one's kind of it. Maybe we'll just do that. Uh, we've got a fire sword. What could I make this officer sword into? Nothing crazy. Can anything get? Acid put on it? Ho oh, ho ho! The sledgehammer can get acid put on it? Hmm. That sounds exciting. We'll do it. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's a new type of weapon that we haven't had yet, actually. It's called a bulldozer. What does that do? Bulldozer, drain stability, heavy attacks are critical hits. Thrown weapons cause forceful explosions. Ah, okay. This isn't exactly what I wanted from a, a blunt weapon. I was hoping for another like maiming blunt weapon. So I could just melee the shit out of somebody's legs and just take them out. But I guess we'll have to try this. Um, So we'll do critical hits and heavy attacks do more damage, which, I mean, that should be both, obviously. And then heavy attacks charge faster and use less damage. 
That's gonna be it. That sounds like the one. Sure you can. Oh, wait, nope. Ugh. That was not 10 damage. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> So effective. Oh, man. All right, let's go get our first potential gun. We'll see if it's uh, busted. <laughs> it probably it'll probably be just all right. Like, it might one-shot a lot of things, but even way back in, like, Dead Island 1, eh. Ooh. Guns left a little bit to be desired in Dead Island 1. They couldn't just make it like one shot zombies in the head. Because that would be overpowered. No, it had to be like level balance, like everything else. So we'll see if they try to do the same thing here. At the very least, just let me get ammo for like not too much hassle. Fucking, I will happily sit there and like have weapons not be the most amazing as long as I can make up for it by spamming bullets. this side. Oh, there is someone around me. Slice and dice. Slay 200 zombies using maiming weapons. Plus equipped maiming damage three. That's pretty good. I do very much like the maiming weapons. They are very effective. I wonder if they actually have the Sambi music. He had like two tracks because there was um Dead Island and then they had like a standalone Dead Island that continued the story. I forgot the name, I think it was like Blood Tide or something. And so they had a, you know, they had Hootie Voodoo for the first game, and then they had a second Sam B track for the second game. I haven't heard that second one since like the game, <laughs> since uh, the second game came out. Hey, Blood Tide, Rip Tide, oh, Jesus fuck. Fellas, Ronnie says this place is packed with guns. Get to busting this gate open. Uh, can I just open it? Come on. Nope. <laughs> oh, shit. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Stand the fuck back. It's hammer time. Damn! Open sesame. Oh damn! Oh, shit sticks. I got this. Get the guns. He's got it. So who I the believe it. Nikki Gut, big game hunter on cable. I saw her a snow leopard. <laughs> of course you did. Fake snow too. <clears throat> Locked. Let's break it open. Whoa! Oh, shit! Yeah. That looks she different. Is. Not looking so hot today, Nikki. Hey, bitch! Still think you're too good for Ronnie's fucking red Oh, shit! Oh, Ronnie's dead! Well, there goes Ronnie's treasure trove of knowledge. Ronnie! Oh, hey! That asshole was with me! Come on, then, you fuckers! 
God! Damn! You wanna yell? Let's do this! Ah, fuck! You ruined my yell! Ah, Jesus! So much is happening here! Another yell! Push back! Slash it up! Oh. Yeah, we lost Ronnie, Sam! <laughs> Jesus, that thing is not... Not good. First Blood, a screamer's voltaic, a voltaic lungs produce a plasma-induced stream of sonic waves. These sonic maelstroms are strong enough to force you backwards and will annoy other zombies into a frenzy. Jeez. Oh, Ronnie. Oh, what a mess. I'm sorry, Ronnie. It's kind of on him, you know. If you're gonna taunt a zombie, at least have a weapon in hand. Well, we got another slot open. Um... Let's try out this dead eye thing. Maybe it's, like, really good. I can just potentially spam... Ugh. Uh, the more effective melees over and over again, like this particular shuriken seems to do quite a bit of damage. So it could be really good. I was kind of expecting that explanation for the screamer to like <laughs> halfway go, yeah, just kidding, it just yell out, yells really loud. But no, I guess it just fucking releases like plasma shockwaves or shit, and that's totally legit. That's like the only problem with this hot swapping feature they have here. It's very easy because it uses A and D to like, while moving, swap out the weapon that you're currently selecting. Booyah! Hey Sam. Ronnie's dead. Damn. Shit. It's not your fault, all right? People who ain't like us don't last out here. I told him, but he wanted to be the big fixer. I got bit to fuck just keeping him alive this long. Grab a gun, and let's get back to Emma's. Okay. All right. Oh, shit. Sporting rifle. That looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah. We'll see how those dead fucks like me now. Different range weapons profiles are better suited to different shit. situations. Every zombie in the neighborhood must have heard those screams. Find a window upstairs and shoot any motherfuckers coming into the backyard. I'll cover the driveway side from the front door. Let's see what some fine power can do. Alright, let's try out our first gun. Ammo. Oh, hell yeah. Trigger, don't jerk it. Oh, what is this sight? It's so bad. Blown away. <laughs> I might be better off hip firing this fucking thing. Uh. Oh, there they are. I know you fuck. Gotta reload. Hold up. Reloading. To a 
Oh god, acid! Thought I could avoid it. Stay down. Oh no! I'm out of ammo! What do you mean there was so much more in there? It's a gun. <laughs> I'm not, I don't like the scope in terms of like how it feels to aim. Mostly because like there's a, so like when you get fully zoomed in, it's slower than when you're zoomed out. Uh, I, I'll have to see, if, let me adjust that because I, uh, actually, you know what? I'll keep it the same for now. Just because also, like, this scope is so... small in terms of, like, what I can actually fucking see in there versus, you know, just fucking hit fire. Here, you know, I see the whole goddamn world, basically. There, I'm like, I can see about four feet. So, so it's very much about precision. But obviously there will be different types of guns, and maybe we can mod and perk them too, that'd be sweet. Also, I'm guessing that crusher just bled out when it made it down here, I don't remember killing it. Yo, what up, Sam? Speed loader perk. Ah, hell yeah, here you go. Uh, about to start just stashing stuff in here. Oh, fuck, I leveled up too. Hold up. Now I can equip my sledgehammer. We'll just keep stuff in storage for later, for me to sell. Hey, hey, having fun? Oh, yeah. I'm nearly done. I'll see you back at the house. Hey, Sam, there's this guy, Dr. Reed in Santa Monica. He says they need my blood to make a vaccine. Mm, that's so. If we arm everyone, I bet we could make it. One thing I've learned. The voice on the radio promising to fix all your shit never happens. We're doing just fine. But if she came with me, you'd come too, right? She won't. You might be surprised. See you back there. Huh? <laughs> 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 All right, hold on. We got some uh, some things here. Uncommon ranged punctuer, uh, punctuator mod. Convert your weapon, inflict bleed damage, and gives a minor damage boost. <laughs> sure, I guess. <laughs> speed loader increases reload speed. I guess I'll slap that on my gun. I wonder if now guns will start to pop up in the open world. Just like the zombie types have been. Or if I'm going to have to get them from specific places. Hey, calling Emma John's place. It's Ryan. Anyone there? Hello? Yes, yes, uh, I'm here. Michael, <laughs> you made it. Yes, getting back was, uh, a lot easier. You speak to Emma yet, or? No, I, um, uh, no, I'll, uh, I will. I am counting on you, buddy. See you soon. Everything is coming up, sunshine.
Yeah, it's not an instant kill headshot. Still satisfying though. The question is gonna be how hard is ammo to find? Martial law incident. Interim report. Uh, 176534. AO, Zone 3, Bev Hills. Unsanctioned evacuation attempts, multiple vehicles. Three fatalities. Lee, deceased male, and Roth, deceased male, and Jane Doe, unidentified deceased female. First witness report. Rifleman Lana Kaminsky. Vehicle 1, Lee, swerved out of driveway and smashed into vehicle 2, Roth, traveling downhill. Both men exited vehicles. Lee armed the baseball bat and Roth with a, went a wrench. They were shouting and threatening each other. Neither responded to military personnel. Then a woman, no ID, mid-twenties, blue shorts, white blouse, ran at Roth and tackled him. Woman behaved savagely. I declared AID, ROE, and squad opened fire. Target and Roth were hit multiple times, estimated 20 rounds. Lee struck woman repeatedly on head with a bat, shouting until skull was pulp. Lee then ran to the trunk of vehicle one, ignoring my attempts to speak to him. He was agitated and re repeating the phrase, I'm out of here, I'm fucking out of here. Roth then got back up. Squad opened fire and dropped him permanently that time. Lee drew firearms, shouted that we were murderous assholes and we had no right. Lee adopted threat posture, aiming weapon. Squad reacted under zone three ROE and dropped Lee as well. Lee was dead on inspection and remained dead on further inspection. Squad bagged and tagged all three and moved vehicle one and two to the side of road and report. Sheesh. Yeah, that's definitely a, a <laughs> dumb fucking thing to do. You watch the military gun a person down, you're like, I'm gonna pull out a gun myself. Like, if you're gonna do that, you might as well have committed all the way and just fired immediately. Don't give them the chance to react. Cause, uh, there was only one way that was gonna go, you know? Uh, maybe I can survive this. Uh... Let me actually go back. There's a fuse box in the water facility. And I do now have three fuses. Oh shit! Nope! At least the gun solves, uh... the screamer problem pretty effectively. A lot of electricity. God. God. Just reload my gun before anything happens. I'm not even gonna bother until I get like a gun I really, really like. I'm not even gonna bother putting it on like my primary, uh, my primary buttons, like the ones that I actually press. Like eight's pretty far on the keyboard. I usually only really use like one through six. Uh, plus I have a fucking, <laughs> I have a mic blocking my way. <laughs> yeah, once I get something that maybe is a little bit more my style, AKA high damage in like one shot. That's when we'll start using it a little bit more. And I can put it on like one through four. Give me like a shotgun 
with some kind of crazy modder perk. That works out. Also, nice, a golf club. Let me try that. I also need to actually try out my uh, sledgehammer. Let me... Swap to that. Yeah. Probably like shotgun or... Or like a revolver. Or give me like a sniper. Cause like this, uh, it's a sporting rifle. So it's in a category where like, it does damage. Look at that. <laughs> Look, when my fucking legs can do more damage than the gun, it leaves me a little disappointed. <laughs> Like I was saying earlier, I kind of expected it. You can't make the guns too overpowered. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, fuck, right, he's... that's so unfortunate. <laughs> he's immune to caustic. <laughs> I wanted to see if it would like roll downhill. That'd be sweet. Oh, okay. <laughs> fuck it. I was wondering what the fuck that was. It was a zombie coming out of the ground behind me. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> All right, anything going on out here that I should care about? No side missions are popping up here. So all right, let's get out of here.